Hi, my name is Tom Eriksson. As an introduction to the uh, digital movie making course, I will talk about visual storytelling and give some general uh, reflections and thoughts about how to tell a story in images, uh, how to make a movie, and uh, some, uh, some important aspects of movie making. The name of the course is uh, Digital Movie Making. And if we start with that, uh, the digital uh, is quite obvious nowadays. Uh, it hasn't been that, uh, that case uh, before. Uh, if we go back just 10 years ago, when uh, we started this uh, Digital Movie Making course, then uh, movie making was really in, in the phase shift, in the transition from analog movie making to digital movie making. Of course, the transition has been very long, uh, many um, two or three decades. But uh, what has happened um, since we started the, the course is that nowadays basically everything in movie making is digital. When uh, th there are th three things uh, that can be digital, so to speak, when you are making movies. It is the actual acquisition, the shooting of the movie. You can shoot analog or digital. And then you have the uh, editing of the movie and then the distribution or exhibition of the movie. And if you look historically, it was the editing that started to be done digitally first. So if you look 15 to 20 years back in time, it was quite common to shoot in analog on celluloid. And then you scanned in the movie and edited the movie in an online editing system because that was much more efficient than actually cutting the, uh, the, the film celluloid. And then when you had edited the movie uh, digitally, you shot it out again or printed it out on, on, uh, on film again and projected the movie analog. And of course that was a quite cumbersome process. You had to scan and then print. Uh, and that costs uh, money and uh, you lose quality and so on. But it was quite common, especially in the States and also in Sweden. But then uh, the digital cameras started to get better and better and more and more movie making, even professional feature film movie making, started to use the digital cameras. So the digital, the, the acquisition became digital also. There are still some directors who shoot on analog film, but uh, most directors shoot digital nowadays. And then the distribution, the showing of uh, the final movie have been moved over to the digital now also. Of course, we have all these digital uh, distribution formats on the internet, like uh, YouTube and so on, and we can watch uh, the news and so on in our cell phone, etc. And all that is, of course, digital. And that is a very important part, of course, of, uh, of distribution. And as you know, there is a lot of conflict about copyright and things like that, that um, is kind of inherent in this digital distribution on YouTube and so on. But also the projection in cinemas have been started to be digital. And if you look at different countries, uh, in some countries it has been going over to the digital projection very much like in Sweden, Norway, uh, the States, uh, China, actually. But then in other countries, it is still quite common with 
analog uh, projection in the cinemas. But the transition to digital projectors are very fast there. So you could ask yourself, is, is it meaningful to actually talk about digital movie making since, since uh, basically all movie making is digital nowadays? Well, I would say that yes, it is meaningful because even if we technically have moved into digital movie making now, uh, the, the conventions and how you tell a story and so on are still very influenced by analog movie making. So you still have this kind of um, conflict between old style movie making and new uh, digital movie making. And some things are, are taken over into the digital arena. For example, there's a lot of uh, image artifacts like uh, grain and uh, and uh, shutter speed and things like that, that people are recreating digitally, even if it is typically analog uh, image artifacts. So we, on one hand, we have the old conventional uh, storytelling in movies, but on the other hand, we also have a kind of new digital storytelling uh, that um, that uh, uses the digital capabilities. Uh, two obvious examples are the, the visual effect movies with all these digital visual effects uh, that have made it possible to tell new kinds of stories. Uh, and it's not only the, the uh, high-end uh, visual effect movies, but also smaller, cheaper movies that are using digital effects. Uh, usually effects that you don't notice, but you can, you can, for example, if you want a crowd scene with hundreds of people, it is much cheaper to do that today since you have digital effects. And the other example of how digital movie making have influenced um, the look of movies are, are the tendency to, to use um, a kind of documentary uh, style, a video documentary style, uh, like in movies, uh, for example, 24 Hours, the TV show, and in uh, Blair Witch Project, and all the other movies that have come around that are faked documentaries, so to speak. This course will focus on feature film production. But when we talk about movies, it is important to realize that there is so much more to movie making than just feature films. You have uh, non-fiction, uh, documentaries and so on. You have amateur movies, semi-professional uh, movies. There's a huge uh, garish movie making uh, movement, lots of people that are doing movies uh, non-professionally. And you have, of course have commercials, you have instructional movies and so on. And uh, usually I will talk in this course about feature film production, but uh, I will try to have a quite broad view of story uh, of, of movie making. And that is why I call this first introduction to visual storytelling to highlight that it is many different kinds of uh, storytelling with images. And in the course name we have the making. So the course is quite focused on, on uh, practical stuff also. It is a course that combines theoretical uh, ideas about uh, production culture, movie analysis, film theory, and so on. But it is also focused on actually making movies and to, to give you a chance to learn more about how to make movies in a good way.